Okay, Google. Turn on the light. Okay, sir. Turning on the light. Okay, Google. Turn off the light. Okay, sir. Turning off the light. What's up guys, this is Anto from Coffee Break. So in this video, you are going to learn how to make a Google Assistance based home automation using the ThingsPick because a lot of people are using ThingsPick for sending the data and seeing the sensor parameters on the ThingsPick server. But in this video, you are going to use the ThingsPick for the Google Assistant. So let's go to the video. So if you want to make an automation with Google Assistant using this ThinkPick, what you have to do is to create a channel. So go to thinkspick.com and log in with your Gmail ID and just click on the channel. So if you go for channel, you can able to see a new channel. I have already created a new channel. So if you click the new channel, you can be redirected to this channel settings. So give your description name, then give some description and now come on light. So this is the thing we need. So you have to enter a new parameter. Uh, don't take too much feeds, just one is enough and then sharing, go for sharing. Then click share channel view with everyone and finally api key so this is the unique api key for everyone so i have an api key you have an api key so we need this write api key and read api key so write is to update our data to the things pick as well as read api key to read the data and the things pick so if you go see right if you want to write the channel um this is the q code and it ends with field one is zero so the field one is Oh, what's the field one is light so go for an apk see to write so what i'm going to do is i am going to copy this line and copy and going to paste it some other place and get and uh, have to go so if you put, give a zero let's come to public view so now you can get a zero so go here and give one and give an enter see it's automatic update to so this is what we need to check manually okay this is the first step if you completed this step go to iftt okay next you have to go to iftt.com because it act as a mediator between the google assistance and the esp module so you have to log in with the same email id as you're logging on the things with okay then uh, the most important thing is that email id must be logged in your mobile also okay then go to the profile it's already your profile and go to create so if you click create here create your own so if this then that so i click it if this so you have to search for google assistants jivo so this is the google assistants so click it see here say a simple phrase say a simple phrase with numbers in there. so you have to go through it but i am going to use say a simple phrase so turn off the light so what i am used to say turn off the light is my keyword okay. so turn the light off so you can go give what you used as your keyword okay then go and click trigger and see what do you want the assistant okay sir turn off the light
turning off the light so this is the response from the google assistant okay then click trigger okay so if you click trigger so then click that so search webhook so this is the webhook so go to the webhook and make a web request so this is the url you have to queue so go to a things pick and see here's a write a channel feed so copy it and paste it so in this case this is the real thing what we receive on the esp module so uh, field one equal to zero and i have sent to field one equal to one you can use anything else two three four five something else okay but you have to uh, compare the number in the program okay so then go for json uh, body doesn't need it then create action So if you create action finally finish so if you say turn off the light then make a web request see uh, i would like to go to my applets so i already make turn on the light now turn on the light so what the maximum appliances two appliances so i have to create two more you have to do the same see in case of turn on the light in case of that web hook settings in case of web hook i used zero as well as in case of turn off the light i used one you have to remember that okay so go to create So totally I have created four applets. So once for turning on the light and another for turning off the light, then next for turning on the fan and another for turning off the fan. These are the basic two steps in the things we can IFTT. Then we have to go to the circuit. So you can able to see the circuit. So I have connected the LCD to D8 to D13 points that two channel relay to d7 and d8 you can able to connect any of the pins and change the program and the most important thing is i have connected my esp module of the cl community tx rx pin to d2 and d3 so this is the most important thing you have to do so i suggest you to buy a breakout board for esp module but i make my own so i will definitely gave the circuit of the breakboard in the description you can download it and make your own breakboard or else just buy a breakout from the online market that is most comfortable for you so this is our hardware our hardware consists of the original board lcd module then relay then esp model with the breakout board so i am going to reset the hardware so when i reset my hardware So you can able to see the our title and now come to serial monitor in your pc so if you come for serial monitor you can able to check the 80 commands works fine or not so you can able to see okay if the response is not working your hardware is not working well okay so it's come to the thinker version and you can able to see uh my wi-fi credential you can able to check whether my wi-fi is connecting or not so wi-fi connector everything is fine so then you can able to go to the hardware you can able to check the mobile whether your hardware has been connected okay now open the hardware, uh, mobile okay google 
Turn on the light. Okay. So my light. Turning on the light. Okay. You are able to get the description as light is on on LCD and you can able to see the relay is switched on. Okay. So similarly, okay Google, turn off the light. Opening display settings. Sorry. Okay Google, turn off the light. Okay sir, turning off the light. So my light has been switched off. So if you need to control a load, you directly a 230 volt bulb to here okay so i hope you can understand so i can able to control another appliances also okay google turn on the fan okay sir turning on the fan so you can able to see an led is enabling so you can able to see the status fan is on so this is the way you can able to control the hardware with the google assistance what you have to do is create the things with channel go to ifttt then download my arduino code in your arduino board then connect the relay now use two channel relays on pin number six and seven and what you have to do is replace the api key instead of my api key you have to place your api key and you can able to control with the google assistance the main thing is your mobile has been logged in with the email id that email ID should be logged in on the IFTTT as well as ThinkSpeed. Think so if the Gmail ID changes, if your mobile have an another email ID login and if you used another email ID for ThinkSpeed and IFTTT login, definitely your hardware will not work. This is the thing you have to note. I hope you understand. I hope you know a good idea how to control the hardware with Google Assistant. So if you have any queries, comment me. If you have any doubts, ask me. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye bye. See you.